Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Police were supposed to protect people's life. Their life not they safe again for Nigeria. Now so so bonny bonny them they born police station. As they they born police station, now so they they kill police. Ejoran so gagbe say this no be the time to play politics with people life. Make I leave you, make you hear Ejoran's message. Enjoy the video. This submission is to appeal to the politicians in Nigeria to stop playing politics with people's lives. And they should be mindful of the words they use. The politicians are all over the media right now, even on the newspaper, begging the Nigerians to stop attacking burning down police stations and killing policemen. My question is, are the Nigerian citizens bandits? Are we hoodlums? There is a lot of insecurity challenge in the country as we speak right now. Farmers go to farm. They get killed. Market people go to market. They get robbed, some kidnapped, others killed. Students, many have been kidnapped within their learning environment. We are facing the whole of this at the same time in this particular country. So I strongly believe the reason why the politicians are not speaking up is just to patronize the police force. Because they've got to realize that the police are on the front line to take any bullet coming their way. Is that, is that the only reason why you should speak for a particular body that have been there working effortlessly to have you secured. What most of you politicians used to fear your car in a day, what more than a police salary and upkeep in a whole month? None of you have been able to solicit or advocate for that for the policemen. You want them to remain poor so that you can keep using them. Now, the lives of the people in the Nigeria police force is in a big threat. Instead of we to begin to fight hard, where is this attack coming from? Instead of we ought to burn down, what is the actual cost of this? What makes you feel the people going about attacking the citizens of this country will not as well go after the police that are supposed to protect the citizens. We have been playing games with almost everything. Now it's gradually reaching out to all of us. People want to speak up, but they don't know the right way to speak up now. How can you, politician, come in out to beg the Nigerian citizens to stop burning down police stations? Have you been able to get anyone? It's so indicting. At this very particular time where we are facing insecurity challenge, we don't know where the attacks are coming from. Now, the country is on the run to carry out another re police recruitment in the country. Meanwhile, the lives of the people there is in a big threat. So we want to bring in more citizens to go and die, right? The Nigeria police force, of course, we all know, is one particular platform 
that has been helping unemployment problem in this country. So a lot of citizens who run down there, they do just to get job and have something doing. Many of them are not enthusiastic about the job. If you go ask many of them, they will tell you, this is never what I wanted for myself. But I don't want to be idle. Why can't we redirect the money we are about to use on police recruitment now to fortify the local security in our different villages and communities? I have a village. Mr. Politician, you have a village. I beg, help us share this video and let us know what you think for comment section. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the year all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you now with this video. Make you help us share. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.